<laughs> Selena Kyle. Uh, this is expensive too. I thought it was gonna be bigger. It's been on my. It's like That's it's, what she said. It's been. <laughs> <laughs>
So it's anybody like, could be anywhere, really, yeah. Let, well, no, to an extent, yeah, like Dirk said, it's so fluid that it takes you a while to figure out the pauses in the game where you probably could take a break. Sure. Real quick. Yeah, I feel uh, like after yeah. any fight, right, like you could do that. But, but yeah, I think yeah. just, you know, you guys, it, it's funny, like I was going crazy with work and you guys were all playing it for two days before and it was like the Discord was just blowing up with like, oh my God, this is cool. <laughs> and I was like, well, you guys shut up already. I don't want to yeah, I bet that's <laughs> annoying. You were getting a little salty at the end. You're like, uh, I know. don't I... talk about that stupid game. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know, listen, stupid. I know the feeling. I know, it's funny. And then I had like my, my one chance to finally play it and I was like super tired. So like my yeah. first round, I just played for two hours because I, I got towards the end of it, and I was like, God, this is great, but I just know I'm not enjoying it as much as I will tomorrow on a full night's sleep sort of thing. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, that's why I waited. When it, it opened at midnight Eastern time, I, I sat there, and I was like, yeah, I'll play for an hour, and then it got to around to 11 o'clock, and I was like, I was like, no, because it's not going to do justice to me. I'm so tired that I'm not going to pay attention. Yeah. I'm, wait, I'm still waiting for a long session. I just... There's no, I can't get to it the way that I want to get to it, but it's it's gonna the shoe's gonna drop at some point and I'll be able to go full in. I haven't been able to. to this well, point. a Friday morning I got up and I started work an hour later than I normally do, just just to get like a good two and a half, an hour and a half in. Yeah, nice. And we got like three hours in when it came out, and then the hour last night. And no, what I love, I love the dynamics between uh, Kratos and his son Arturo. Oh, when we I, do full spoilers, I can't wait to get into that conversation. Well, yeah, yeah, and I think that I think that uh, that Last of Us had a lot to play into the dynamic of the two. Um, yeah, but I think it's funny because I was thinking about games where you have an AR AI sidekick all the time, and this is one of the best ones so far. Yeah. Because it, he doesn't take damage unless he gets wrapped up. He doesn't take damage. So I, mean, I just use him as my bitch. Is all I do. That's <laughs> funny. Like, I see that as a negative. If really? I'm honest. Yeah, I, I feel like it's, to me, it's fake. Like, you know, some of those battles that I'm in, and he's, yeah, right next to some thing right. that, that should yeah. be smashing him to pieces like it was funny and yeah. the last of us had the same thing like there was one part that i remember specifically where ellie's following you through and there's all these baddies shooting at you and as long as your joel is behind cover it does she could be just sitting right there in the middle of like <laughs> machine gun fire and be okay and that's and, and they balance it for gameplay and i get it but it does it breaks the immersion for me like he should be like up on a rock someplace off to the side well the like, thing <clears throat> like uh, with Shadow of War, they actually address that. You have a sidekick or people that work under you, and they get caught up with somebody, and you have to go relieve them. Right. You know, before before you, you know they die. So right. they could have done something like that, but I think it's I'm fine with the I way think, it is. I think easy to kill an orc off and forget about it. Not really easy to kill Kratos' son off yep. and just yeah. move on. I, I think <laughs> it's a pretty key part of the story. <laughs> yeah. He is a key part, but I mean, he does get wrapped up. Every once in a while, but yeah. if you skill him up, which I've been putting a lot of experience points into him, he gets beastly, and nice. yeah, he helps you out a lot. I, 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 and I'm glad that I don't have to manage hit points for two characters at the same time because hit points are very limited in that game. Trying to find shit, I'm breaking mm -hmm. every crate and bottle that I can find. Trying yes, to yeah, gower for good, shit. Though. It feels good. It feels great. And the controls are great. I'm glad that they simplified some of the controls and then made the other controls more immersive. So you're not trying to memorize all these crazy combos all the goddamn time. It's funny. So I listened to a couple different interviews with Corey Balrog this yeah. week, and uh, he's talking about how the moving them to the finger buttons, the attacks, to the triggers was like a big deal and that they the people on his team like forced him to put the face buttons back in and i oh. almost want to remap it like I, i'm so used to have heavy attack me yeah. in that angle 
I still yeah. find myself hitting those yeah. Yeah. buttons yeah, even no. 12 hours into the game. Right, right. Like, <clears throat> I'll throw the axe to free somebody and then intend to keep them frozen while I'm fighting the other people. And then I run up to the other dude and try to I do the same thing. And, and I pull the axe back to me. Like, yep. Damn yeah. It. I'm, I'm, yeah it's, so I'm, I almost want to remap them. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I never play too far at this point to do that. I, yeah, I know if I switch I, it back, then I'll be hitting the triggers. Yeah, so I, <laughs> yeah, I never really remap a game's controls because I want to get the feel for how they intended to the default. Right. That's just how I play. Sure. So I, I always try to stay with the default unless it's just really shitty. Like Corey said, Hippy Rain was shitty. Right. Or was it? <laughs> right. You couldn't change that though. But, uh, <laughs> the ones that are really shitty, you can't change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, no, I, I'm really impressed with it. Never played it before, and just the the Norse mythology that they get really deep into. And I watched an interview with the with Balrog when he opened up his mail to read Metacritic scores. Yeah, I, I saw that. the video. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty. It, it was emotional. I mean, oh, five geez. years they worked on that game. And that brings up another point. I thought it was stupid though. What was he filming himself for his reaction? I, I guess. Right. But it's for IGN. So they Come probably, on. you know, so they stuck fake in it. Good point, Corey. <laughs> they had to fond, fondle his balls a little bit. You know. <laughs> That's so, funny. The, uh, I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I almost forgot what I was going to say. So it seems like. Hey, it hey, oh, five, five, you know, it took him five years to develop this game. And I think that watching and playing this game shows that. You know, if developers sit there and take longer to develop a really great game, they're going to get paid off in dividends a lot yeah. more than this every year Call of Duty or every year Battlefront or Battlefield. I don't know, like I bet stuff. you Call of Duty outsells this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> if you're Call talking about money, you're talking more money. about that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Make it a single-player game without microtransactions and no multiplayer. They, they Call of Duty will crush this thing in, in sales. Yeah. Well, maybe because it's both Xbox and PS. Yeah. You know, the exclusivity on the that, PlayStation. Really? The PlayStation. Well, let that's me ask this. Way, that's just the way of the yeah. world nowadays. There's that's a million why. people who just play COD. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm, what about, okay, so if a game gets a really, really high rating, do they get anything else besides just sales to monetize? Like, do they get, I don't know. I'm trying to yeah. think of. Uh, they get nominated for the Joystick Awards. <laughs> Any sort yeah. of income source that might make up for. I'm I sure mean, they do. I don't think no. so. Just, they don't. just. No? No. Just game sales. Right. <laughs> and right. rep in the gaming interest industry for yeah, being an the, awesome person. That's <laughs> so, the thing is, like. Yeah. There's the, you know, uh, Mike and Bruce Staley. There's uh, the, you know, uh, who's the guy who did Gears of War? Um, I don't remember. The redhead dude. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know anybody's names. I don't know names. Yeah. Hideo yeah. Kojima, right? Like, there's, oh. there's certain people that make games. Gurus. That know. The, the guy who did Bioshock is uh, Ken Levine. Like, like yeah. those people are, like, in... Like it, it, me and Corey, it's funny. One time we were sitting down and talking with my dad about music, and my dad was talking about how, uh, you know, back in the '60s, like, you know, like the Beatles and and Bob Dylan and and you know the greats that were making rock and roll back then were like in like artistic contests with each other, right? Like um, every yeah. time somebody dropped oh, yeah, an song album, writing contest. yeah, yeah, the, these other guys would want to go like outdo it with their own work, and uh, you know, there's a few video game makers who are playing that game right now right and awesome. I, I think it's clear that god of war this is cory balrogs he's was like i want to be in that conversation you know what i mean <laughs> but uh but sales i mean that's why we see the 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 battlefront 2 debacle that we saw last year because these games that we love so much are not mm -hmm. what sell like <clears throat> you know the the last of us was d didn't sell anything or even uncharted 4 is like less than 10 million or whatever like grand theft auto 5 is about to hit 100 million you know what i mean it's it's a whole different ballpark that these kind of games play in but they're my favorite so you know i hopefully 10 million is enough you know that time 60 is enough for them to uh keep making them right because it, it's yes it's, this is my favorite type of game this deep story cuts and oh yeah just yeah. so cool you know as soon as the review when that review embargo came out like two weeks ago and everybody was giving it 10 out of 10s i was just like oh man i you know that all of a sudden my expectations went up for it and, yeah uh, you know, just playing the opening of this game, that first kind of two hours that kind of launch into it, 
it is just spectacular the way that they told that story. Like, Splash. Yeah. Oh, no. I was even after the reviews, I was still a little nervous because you look at God of War three and it's in the nines on Metacritic, or it's nine point one or something, and I wasn't a big fan, and so I was trying to hold my expectations back. And yeah, I mean, as soon as the first night, three hours in, I was like, "Holy shit, this is one of the best games <laughs> ever." <laughs> so. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so hopefully none of nobody's beat it, huh, Corey? I'm sure you put the most hours in. You're not, probably not even close to beating it, huh? Yeah. yeah so. I think I'm 50% through it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> It'll be interesting. Like, that's the like the whole package. When it's this deep in the story, they got to stick the ending, right? And so it'll yeah, be that's interesting the big to see. Thing. Yep, where they go. I, 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 got, do, I got ideas. I do want to watch Thor Ragnarok again, though, playing this game. <laughs> Hell yeah! It reminded me of Skyrim too, a little, you know, a yeah. little bit, sure. a little bit. But other than that, I was uh, yeah. Start your week. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my week. <laughs> um, besides that, I finished up homework, so I don't have anything to worry about there. So I was trying to catch up on shows. Been watching Silicon Valley on HBO. That's an awesome show. If you're a computer nerd, yes, watch that show. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, that's good. And then I've been I was I've been watching Lost in Space because everyone's all raving about it, and it's okay. It, On Netflix. It, yeah, some of the, some of the, the some of the characters and the stories are a little trite, and there's some right. god awful so slow scenes in, in the episodes, but it, it's okay. It, yeah. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't bring myself to watch anything besides comic book shows and anime now. That's <laughs> <laughs> because you got weird horse girls running around playing soccer. Yeah, actually, Derby. stopped watching Pretty Derby. <laughs> Derby girls. Derby girls. <laughs> but Pretty Derby. I think I may have called it Derby Girls. It's actually Pretty Derby. Pretty Derby. Pretty Derby. Yeah. Pretty Derby. Oh, that's even better. Hmm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But uh, yeah, God of War pretty much consumed most of my week. I was going on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it consumed true. my week. Well, I played some Monster Hunter World, but I, I'm at I'm stuck yeah. at the I'm stuck at the, the point grind. where it's the three the three uh, three area grind. Yeah, that just pisses me off. It pissed me off too. It really and did. It, just, it, it, it hurt my experience of the game when it, yeah, when I got it, to that. It definitely did. Because yeah, I just did it right. That's when I farmed that armor set. I didn't even notice the grind. Like I got it I the grind done farm, while I didn't farming. Need an armor set. Like, so it, it, yeah, no you reason. need one, but you might want one because they're cool. But I hated the fact that they artificially extended the game by throwing that in there. Just yeah. let me fight yeah. those monsters and, and move along. I can grind later when I want to get sets and stuff. After that, I want. Exactly. You know, that was in the thick of the story. You knew you were getting to the end. All the stuff was going on, and then they threw that in there. That like, oh wait. Yeah, that's like the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker pause when you had to go do the boat quest in the middle of it. Like, it's the same. I, that pissed me off, too. It's unnecessary. I mean, yep. you, you, I liked how they did it where you had other story driving quests and then the special investigations alongside of it. Right. So it made like you're doing more, but now it's like the three things you have to do to progress the story is track down the three mystery monsters and then I know that I'm going to have to kill all three of these mystery monsters. That's a fun and, part, though. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'll get to it. But right now, God of War, I want to finish that because yeah. I'm really engrossed in the story. And yeah. God, I wouldn't. You said you think you're fifty percent. I don't think so. <clears throat> I, I looked somewhere on there. It said man, a completion fifty-two percent earlier tonight. Oh, well, that's Midgard, just, though. That's just opening that's up the just map. Of that map. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, right. like, it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't get that, into a story completion. Yeah, and that's oh. just of Midgard. Yeah, <sighs> right. Shut up. Yeah, I'm only... Stop yourself. <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself over there. Where's that card? <laughs> Where is that card? Because. All right. Well, so that's you're good. That's your yeah, week? yeah. I, I blew the horn, Corey. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, nice. the my, in my week. I watched the TV show that you should have watched instead of all those shows that you just said were like, okay, yeah, it's pretty good. I watched the <laughs> world's greatest television show, Legion, episode three of the season yeah. two. It's so awesome. It, I, I can't believe how awesome it is. I'm, I'm, I like, 
I've gotten to the point where the people that are like, yeah, I tried to watch it and I can't get into it, like, I'm just mad at them because it's so <laughs> good. I, I, mad at this one. <laughs> so I'm not mad at you. You haven't, you haven't watched you haven't it. Tried. You haven't watched it. Jeff, when you watch <laughs> it, you'll, you'll be no, on board. You know what? I don't know, Nate, because he has his expectations. He he might go in like hating it before he even no. watches because we're so hyped about it. I don't think no, so. No, you can't do that because you got to give – any TV show or anything takes four to six episodes for you to really get invested in the characters. So yeah, I have to at like least good, watch season one. You like good cinema, though. I, I know this. I I'm talking to you, and you know right. good directors. This is that. I mean, yeah. it's absolutely that. Yeah, it, the, the, I think, you know, the people who don't like it, I, it seems like they don't like it because it's super artsy cinema, right? Yeah. Oh, and uh, that, that's why either that's going to turn you off, right? You're going to sit there and watch the first three episodes and be like, oh, this is kind of weird. And then you, if that's your thought, then quit watching it. Yeah, <laughs> if you, you like guys? NCIS and Friends and, <laughs> you know, those no, are your favorite show shows, you. then Legion's not Dude, for you, probably. Like. You, <laughs> NCIS is horrible. That's what I hate about broadcast TV because. Unless it's a lawyer film, fucking NCIS, or a yeah. hospital CSI. drama, yeah, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. The shows that I like, the really good, weird, bizarre shows, get canceled. Yeah. This might be America's, that. America viewers suck. This might be <laughs> Legion. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that you know, The Walking Dead, I guess, we're going to talk Walking Dead at the end of this, yes? We didn't even talk about that before the show, sure. yeah? You guys can yeah. watch. Yeah, we'll, I'd... Go, we'll go spoilers and God of War in a future episode here. Yeah, I'll give yeah. everybody a couple weeks to get through it or whatever. So yeah. Anyways, they ended up the Walking Dead season. It's funny. I've talked to a few people now who are like, you know what? I think I'm done. And and my uh, <laughs> my conversation then is like, you know what? I don't blame you, but if it, it, still being a reader of the books, I'm I'm gonna keep watching it. It doesn't doesn't really matter. You know, the the right. ending was it was good. I mean, I I honestly feel like it it was this season has been better than the last couple probably. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, you agree, Corey? Yeah, so we'll get into that later. Uh, and then, yeah, games playing, uh, you know, again, we did the Monster Hunter and uh, yeah, on the weekends, and then got God of War, right? And that, was, that was my week. Corey, what you got? <laughs> oh, 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 right. I do have one more other thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got uh, me and the kid started, we're looking for another anime to watch and started watching Dragon Ball. Um, oh, it's Dirk, so good. Dirk, so the only Dragon Ball that I can get on anything that I use is uh, on Crunchyroll is uh, Dragon Ball Super. It yeah, seems... but Dragon Ball itself just came out. The, the first series, I think, just came out on Amazon. I don't have Amazon. Yeah, oh. I don't have Amazon. So are I don't you still know, watching One Punch Man? How far are you in that? Uh, just an episode in, but that's in the rotation. Right now the rotation is Dragon Ball, One Punch, and, and uh, um, uh, 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 Attack on Titan. You got to start off at the beginning, though. It's very important, Nate. I mean, I know it's a huge series to go through. <laughs> Is it? Like, I, I just can't find it anywhere. Like, It I, starts I off with go to it as a Netflix kid. Netflix and, and Comcast, right? And it's not on any of that stuff. It's only Dragon Ball Super is on all of it. And uh, the regular yeah. Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball is not on any of it. So, so yeah, I, I figured I just want to get to know the characters and see what the hell everybody's talking about. Have you watched Super at all? Dude? Yes. And Is it's it... okay. It's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, it gets corny at times. I mean, the best, if you're talking like the best out of the series, uh, it goes by sagas, right? So if you go to like Dragon Ball Z, there's like three or four different um, seasons, you can call them. Uh, but Z is clearly the best. I mean, Z is top of the line. Is it? Okay. Dragon Ball is probably second, and then Super... Super's good. It has weird moments, but it's definitely watchable. I mean, you'll enjoy watching it, I think. It's better shit. Cool. Yeah, we'll check it out. <laughs> like, Charlie Fox. Yeah, well, I'm not watching that with the kids, so. Why not? <laughs> I, from what I've seen of it. Give them a think, few years. Am I wrong? I, I thought it's super pervy. No, not at all. <sighs> you're, it's you're a, that smile. He says that with a acid, smirk right? on his face. I mean, it's, it's a little <laughs> weird in the beginning. Like, the first episode's probably the weirdest. I mean, like, the, just, like, the way they link up with their frocks, like, kind of throws people off for the first time they see it. 
but um, I feel like but after the that, first episode, not, <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome show. So I guess is it my turn? Yeah, go ahead. So, oh uh, yeah. So I so I watched Charlie and the Franks. Probably <laughs> the best episode of the season so far. So fucking good. I was crying. I was literally crying in the end of it. What? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's oh. that good. It's just so. So good. Um, <laughs> probably the best anime I've watched in years. Um, you said also you got this like shit eating grin when you talk about it. Like, what's the? I know. What's the? Uh, are you being sarcastic? Are you serious? I'm being serious. Okay, all right. It's, I swear, <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Um, and then the new Sword Art Online. Watch that too. Um, which that that's good. Um. It's weird though. I mean, it's just it's, it's like a slice of life about a girl who's tall in real life, and she wants to be short, so she plays a short character in Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online, and it's it's so different from the old ones, but it's good. <laughs> um, and then uh, Persona. I haven't watched all Persona yet. Um, and then Legion, Walking Dead, and Fear the Walking Dead, the season premiere. Um, you haven't watched that, no. right? That was awesome. I, thought, I think that was better than a lot of The Walking Dead this year. Um, and it's like the crossover one, so it's cool seeing sure. seeing yeah. the crossoverness. <laughs> um, and video they, games without without spoiling stuff, Corey. Are they? Does it make it so that the timeline is equal? Because it because it wasn't at the beginning of Fear. Yeah, it does. It's like. They equaled it up somehow. The do they explain it or do they Fear just? The season premiere of Fear the Walking Dead starts right where the Walking Dead ends. Yeah, but <sighs> but the Fear the Walking Dead's only three seasons in, and and it started at the beginning of the apocalypse, and that was like years ago in the regular Walking Dead. Like, do right. they explain that difference or no? No. Okay. All right. Um, I'm curious. All right. Not at all. Like, in fact, like the. The crossover stuff is the majority of the episode, and then in the very end of the episode, you see the characters that have been in the show all along, and you're like, whoa, what the fuck are they doing? And then the episode's over. So oh, okay. you, you really don't know. Sure. They didn't go there yet. I'm doing now. Gotcha. Did they look like uh, totally different? Like they there could have been a time jump in fear? They were doing totally different shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but, but I'm definitely hyped for this week, for sure. It's more than I was for like the next Walking Dead all season. So, <clears throat> and, it, and it's a new storyline. It's just cool. You know, I kind of know what happens. Semi know what happens in The Walking Dead. And then uh, video games. I beat Wolfenstein 2, finally. Nice. Uh, took me like 18 days for some reason. I took like a week. <laughs> Week off video games. Did you stay at normal the whole time? Yeah, I got the trophy okay. for it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, and and worth it. All these people, like, you read people online, like, oh, it's supposed to be, it's meant to play on easy. Then you really feel like you're running and gunning and stuff, and it's like, no, you just aren't good enough. Like, <laughs> trash. Because <yeah. laughs> <laughs> <It's so laughs> when you do it right on normal, like, it's not easy to run and gun. No, like, if you just try and run in and shoot everybody, you're going to get killed. Right. But if you if you run behind obstacles and, and then, like, pull out your shotgun and run out and, like, blast a few guys <laughs> and then run back and then, like, pull out your double guns and then, like, come around other cover and shoot guys. Like, if you do it right, it's way more fun on normal, like you feel like a badass when you actually do it because if the pressure's on, you know you get killed if you stand still. Like, it, it feels a lot better when you actually get it done. Like, nice. I feel like playing it on easy would take away some of that intenseness because you'd just be blasting guys away and not worrying about getting killed. Sure. <laughs> so, sure. But, but really awesome, just as good as the first one, if not better, I'd say. Uh, definitely more, like, crazier, like, Wild shit happening in it. Crazier. <laughs> Crazier <laughs> yeah. than the first one. For sure. Hard to believe if you played through the first one. It is, but it's <laughs> it takes it to the next fucking level. But but the whole crew's just as cool as and it's really awesome. I, I give it a solid nine. Nine. Um, 
Ah. Yeah. It was a great game. Uh, we did think it was like one of my favorite games of the year. But I played a lot of good games this year. So, yeah, it's but been a great year. Last year was great, too. Think about yeah. it. There's been a ton of good games the past few years. It's uh, Yeah. We've been lucky. Totally. <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, Monster Hunter and, um, and uh, God of War. I've been playing right. shit like that since Friday. And, oh, and I read uh, Batman. I'm up to date on Batman, which I, I really liked. Like, what are they uh, on now? I don't know, forty-seven or something. Okay, I'm at forty right now. It's, yeah, it's. It goes back and forth. Saying what's happening with Batman and Catwoman a spoiler. <laughs> no, I mean that's news everywhere. Yeah, so like they had the wedding dress issue, which was the yes. one for the current issue. Which is awesome. I, I really liked it. Is is uh? Wait, can I get one, married? Yeah. <laughs> no. But <laughs> there's no way this goes right. I, I don't know the news behind it with the wedding. I don't know what's happening, but there, there's just no way that this is going to end well. I don't. Yeah. Think, right. We'll see. No way. I hope yeah. it does. I really like. I do. I would like it if it did. But. Oh, I got. Speaking of Selena. Selena Kyle. Awesome. Got this statue. Nice. Boy, it's Dream Woman. If you're listening to the audio <laughs> version, you need to uh, head over to youtubecom slash <laughs> Selena Kyle. Uh, this is expensive too. I thought it was going to be bigger. It's been on my. It's like That's it's. She said. It's been. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pre-ordered for. <laughs> it's been one. saying it's going to be released for like months, and uh, it just came out last week, so I ordered it, and it's. It's like seventy bucks. Damn. It's pretty small, but <laughs> but it's if you look online, like all the Catwoman statues are super expensive for some reason. So <clears throat> I don't know. It's sweet though. Hopefully, it'll that go is up sweet. About. I totally <laughs> dig it. And I ordered Jennifer. I don't have her yet, but then I'm like, <laughs> oh nice. I'm I thought you were Chris, dude. I mean, I I'm both. Alright. Alright. One's out of commission, he goes to the other one. My my first playthrough I went for both of them. It yeah. didn't work out so well in the end, but um, <laughs> it never does. But, <laughs> no. then, then I'll have Geralt, Triss, Yen, and Siri. So I, they got other ones. They got Shanny and Dan Lyon and I, I'm not I'm gonna be done with the four. <laughs> so Yeah. Um I kinda want yeah. Dan Lyon though. Dandelion, awesome. <laughs> yeah, no. yep. they're sweet, but yes. Yeah, so, but the most recent Batman, I was not a big fan of. It took a big left turn, and it, uh, I, I wasn't a big fan. <laughs> I mean, I didn't care for the storyline that started the series off, and that was Tom King. Yeah, you know, I was really disappointed in that. But it, it's it's weird. He goes back and forth. Sometimes he just drops like hot shit, you know, like right. awesome stuff, and then he goes back, and it's kind of just too whimsical for me and like the dialogue's a little weird but yeah that's it though Where are we <clears throat> dirt close dirt. sweet out. yeah so uh qu- real quick on games obviously god of war um <laughs> it's hard to put down and i'm probably not going to touch anything else although i should close out celeste you really should you're so you should close before you lose <sighs> yeah oh that's true that is a good yeah maybe i'll do it I started until dawn, um, but I that's gonna be on the back burner until I'm done with GLW, and then um, just in news and comics, I read a whole bunch. It's like two weeks worth because our hundredth episode last week. Um, so I did. I read Domino One, which was awesome. Oh yeah, I read um, that. that was yeah, that was good. <laughs> I'm definitely interested. I'll probably pick up the second one. Um, I'm continuing Snagglepuss, number five. I think there's <laughs> one more after this. Um, <laughs> the Red Scare stuff in it, the McCarthyism, it's all crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, X-Men Red 3, uh, Saga 49 and 50. Thanks. So I'm caught up on Saga. That's obviously awesome. Yeah. Uh, Gideon Falls 2, which was actually... Better than the first issue. I would 
nice. highly recommend. Like, if you thought the first one was pretty good, but it didn't grab you, check out number two. It, it starts to sort of go somewhere with it. Um, and then Batman, I, I read a whole bunch of Batman, 34 through 40. Um, and my two comic books of the week are Batman 40. Which one uh, is that? That's the double date issue. That was awesome. It was yeah. fantastic. It was so good. Um, <clears throat> I mean, no spoilers, but Superman and uh, Lois and Catwoman and, and Batman go on a double date to a fair. <laughs> yeah. So, it's hilarious. Uh, it's awesome. I saw the cover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then my other one was Thanos 18, which closed the series out, which was absolutely fucking incredible. I give it a 10 out of 10. Nice. I mean, it's a perfect, oh, yeah, it's a perfect issue. And they wrap it up. They, they, they're they setting it up for the Infinity War stuff coming. Oh. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's hard to oh. explain too much about it. It's an alternate universe where he meets his older version. He meets an older Thanos, mm -hmm. and it, it gets crazy. Like oh, a future right. older you're talking about? Yeah, like he meets the yeah, future, future okay. older Thanos, yeah. Oh, all right. So is it yeah. is it done? If, is there is there not going to be a Thanos nineteen or is that? No, it's done. Okay, it's that's what do you, what do you rate the series? Then. There's got to there'll be a collection. Too, and then <laughs> there's there's only place. there were only two writers on the whole series. Jeff Lemire was the first writer, and then Donny Cates was the second one. The Donny Cates run, I got to give like a nine point five. Uh, Jeff Lemire, I'd say an eight point seven, eight point eight, but. Donny Cates just fucking killed that book. And, um, I mean, it was perfect almost throughout. Um, that's why they're giving him the, that Ghost Rider, uh, what is it, um, Cosmic Ghost Rider book, because he created that character for that series. So, um, absolutely check out that Thanos. Once it's collected, get that for sure. Yep, will do. Yeah. Sweet, and that's my week. Number five, news of the week. PS5 still weighs out. 2019, possibly 2020. I don't see until 2020. I really don't. Yeah, I mean, so you drop a game like that, like God of War, you don't need yeah. another system. Um, I, I disagree, but J but uh, Jason Schreier... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that has to do with the new system. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just saying, like, if you're... Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess I was looking at the perspective of, you know... Well, yeah. No, you never make mind. make a great game on any system. I take it. Forget I said it. Take, I take it back. <laughs> Redacted. So Jason Trier of Kotaku kind of broke this. He, he, he posted an article and then everybody ran with it where he talked to a bunch of developers and whatnot who have the, you know, they have the kits and everything now. And, and everybody said, yeah, this is not, don't look for an announcement at E3 saying this is going to be available on Christmas. It's still a long ways off is what everybody's oh. saying. So kind of crushed the, everybody's looking at like, um, you know, Last of Us 2, Cyberpunk, um, you know, these games that don't have dates yet. Uh, what's the, what's the Kojima one? Uh, uh, Death Stranding. Stranding. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and everybody was kind of saying, that'll probably be on PS5. Those will probably be on PS5. And now, nope, sounds like those are going to be on PS4. So, so yeah. it, it does make sense when they all just put out the Pro and the S and all that to try and milk those for a few more years. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just a fan of the, the traditional five-year cycle that it always was until the 360 PS3 years. Every other console cycle before that was five years, and mm -hmm. I, I just feel like that's a good time to jump up, you know, that the components get cheap enough to make your next your next three four hundred dollar box or whatever the uh so whatever I, I i i like games i'll keep playing these games right but uh yeah i, I wish i'm glad because i bought ps4 pro last year <laughs> so, i said i didn't buy it to have it for one year or something <laughs> yeah that's, that's why i'm always leery about getting the boosted same console number but it's just like a version 2.0 kind of thing well they've only done yeah. that now just by, by the pro, you'll have three years out of a new system. 
<laughs> I don't think it's a new system though. That's what, I, I hate the incremental upgrades. Like I, I hope that those have sold poorly because I don't want them to keep doing that. They all want to turn into Apple. Everybody wants to be Apple because Apple makes all this money, right? And and uh, I, I I think it's terrible for games. I hope they I hope they stop doing that and shorten the cycle and, and put out new hardware. I mean, I think the way they did it was. Yeah, if that's affecting the cycle, then yeah, that sucks. I mean, it's the last... I mean, PS3 to PS4 was seven years, and they didn't have anything in between. But, so... I don't, if the pro's affecting the cycle, then yeah, that kind of sucks. But I, I do say... I do like the PS4 Pro. I mean, the, that frame rate boost... Is awesome. Like <laughs> you, you don't even realize it until you've played it on PS4. Like I never play in my regular PS4. I was never like, man, this frame rate is killing me. Right. Like, I never, I never even thought of it. But now, like, if I'm playing Monster Hunter World, I always play it with increased performance instead of graphics. When I go back to graphics, it looks choppy to me. It looks like oh. it looks like shit. It look, does not look smooth. And that's still faster than the regular PS4, so it, it's it is so much smoother playing it on the on the like performance mode. I do like it. But don't you rather have a PS5 where you could where you didn't have to choose? Yeah. Where they just had them both there in, you go. in every game and stuff like. I don't know. Send that guy a I'm PS5. Ready. <laughs> Send that guy a PS5. I'm ready. Uh, number four, uh, Witcher, Witcher flicks. The Witcher um, News of the Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Netflix Witcher uh, won't air until 2020. So, damn. <laughs> she explained it in there. It's, it's a good explanation. She's, she basically said we're taking time with this product. We don't want to rush something out. We want to make sure it's done really well. So that is a good thing, I think. Absolutely. That's always oh, yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Make it good. Yeah. What, yep. It says it'll have eight episodes. Yeah, which is also girl. good. I <sighs> think the Marvel thing shows you that having more episodes can lead to disastrous results. Yeah, you don't need uh, I want shorter episodes, more tight, tightly wound story. Yeah. I'm For with sure. you. All my favorite shows are eight to ten. You know, yeah. when, once, you, once you go further than that, they're putting filler into everything. Yep. Right. Uh, for sure. Number three. Uh, new Tolkien, Lord of the Rings book, The Fall of Gondolin, coming this year. I haven't read any of the old ones, so. I'm so <laughs> hyped about that. Sorry. You need, you need to correct yourself there. Just read The Hobbit at least, man. I, I know, mean, right? That one's I can pretty send easy you a copy. Place. I got a copy of The Hobbit. I, I no, hear sorry. you guys, but the Hobbit's not near as good as the Lord of the Rings. Well, no, it's, it's not. not even close. I'm right? just saying for Quarry's purposes. So It'll get his feet wet. I think you won't. Yeah, gotta read the Drizzt books. <sighs> yeah, read the Drizzt books. But what you're yeah. reading is is inspired by the the, the real, original. All oh, right, but original, I don't have right? time. It takes me so long to read a book that I don't have time to read the whole original saga before I read the thing that came from the saga. One, that's what I want to actually read. <laughs> <laughs> to read the prequel to the saga to the other post saga, <laughs> yeah. but they're not. You're you're comparing apples and oranges. You're you're, you're talking about right. you know the. It, it's not. Or it, sure it's, fine, versus an actual name brand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm just not like crazy Lord of the Rings. Guy. I don't really care about what happens to that universe. I play D and D, and I want to learn more about it. So yeah, I'd rather read those. Things. It's not Tolkien, cause <laughs> man, I'm pumped though. As a Lord of the Rings fan, this is sort of incredible that there was even stuff out there that hasn't been released. I didn't even know that it existed. So are we gonna have a Clerks Two conversation about this? What do you mean? <laughs> One ring to rule them all. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, when they get in a fight stuff. about Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so what? Is, I, he's well, ready to No, what? dude's been dead for a long time. He's, he's been dead. Thought, so how is it? So his kids, his family has 
the notes and All stuff. Right. It's how the Cimmerillion came along, right? So I somebody see. else is adapting it. Uh, kind of stupid for that regard, but but it I it is cool to me to have this stuff coming up. Like there's been since the Peter Jackson stuff kind of died off. There hasn't been really much Lord of the Rings anything outside of a couple games, and um you know to to have new books the tv show like all this stuff happening you know if if there's any property that they're going to milk I, i'd like it to be the lord of the rings well, well also because everyone got tired of them fucking walking through the whole goddamn movie too well them. right right i will say this though about tolkien you you look at somebody like george or R. R. martin and that world that he's created that's like tolkien. a drop in the bucket compared to tolkien and yeah. the, what he created that world that he built is just insane in levels of detail and I mean he the elven language that he wrote. I'm sorry no. <laughs> I don't get that far into it. <laughs> well, you're it's crazy. It's nuts. Listen out because Dirk's right. The, what's so awesome about it is the history and everything. Oh yeah, the history's it. awesome, but I'm not gonna learn the Elvis. It's like if I wanted no. to learn the Klingon <laughs> language. What purpose does Elvis. it serve? You don't have to learn it to read it. Number two. Uh, COD launching without campaign. Black Ops 4. Yay. So. Hold up. Ooh, and, and it's going to have and, Battle Royale. Yeah. There yeah. You go. <laughs> Battle Royale. Thank you, Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> so uh, it's stupid. I, it's st- I really liked the World War II campaign. And, uh,. I didn't yeah. play multiplayer that much, but we're clearly in the minority. And truth yeah. is, nobody even plays the campaign. Every person that I play with hasn't touched the campaign. They all just play multiplayer and are really high ranked. So, yeah, whatever. Sign you play COD. Nobody buys COD for the single player campaign, though. I mean, I do. <laughs> Except for me, I do. Did you buy? What's the last COD you bought? This year, <laughs> World War Two. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're playing zombies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I think before that. I know uh, you did, Jeff. Modern Warfare. Uh, let's see. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I had that I, yeah. I like the story and I like the multiplayer. But that was bygone years back well, when they had, had hosted Advanced servers. Warfighter, we had Ghosts. Um, like when, whenever we talk about getting those, to me, playing through the campaign is part of what pulls me in. Like, yeah. I'm like, okay, you know, if we play a little bit of multiplayer in the weekends, then cool. But if I'm getting this game, I'll play. And then same thing with Battlefield. But, uh, you know, so I'm one of the rare people, right? Like they, right. there's no chance I get this one. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just on principle. You don't get it. <laughs> Even if all my friends have it. <laughs> And yeah, Unless the Battle as, Royale is really cool. Yeah, as far as no. Battle Royale, you know, th- I, I'm surprised it took this long for us to start yeah. seeing it in more games, you know. So it'll be cool. I'd like to see it in, in like Halo, something first person, even Destiny, right? I'd like to see it like that. Yeah, but we got to yeah. stop running with trash in order to get through Destiny's Percivals. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah. Corey can shine. I need to stop running with trash. Our star. We have to sacrifice ourselves. Make him better. <laughs> Number one. We've already talked uh, about it. God of War. <laughs> yeah. We all just voted about it because so, we love it. Uh, God of War is the PS4's highest rated exclusive on Metacritic. I think it's the highest rated PS4 game besides Grand Theft Auto V is what I saw. Yes. <clears throat> That's what it said. Yeah. Really? And uh, got like ninety four, huh? They got a ninety four percent on Metacritic, didn't it? I think it's ninety five. Ninety five, wow. GTA is ninety seven. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, I like it more than GTA five. Like, if, yeah, GTA oh, yeah. five was good, but no, it was so really I. good. But it's once good. I beat it, I didn't. I I was one of those people that did not go back to it to play it again after I finished it. I think if we're going to talk Grand Theft Auto, my favorite of all time is San Andreas. See, I'm a Vice City guy. Even though Vice really? City was, uh, well, that soundtrack was. Okay. I'm just, like, at uh, five, it's boring now. Yeah. Like Yeah, that's the thing. It's yeah. five. Right, uh, it's right. nothing new. It's just, I mean, it is 
the yeah you know probably the best version of Grand Theft Auto, best graphics and newest stuff. But it's hard. I don't see how that could outscore this. Right. But. Yeah, this is new. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it'll yeah. climb up a little bit more, but maybe. I think the soundtrack in God of War is better than the soundtrack in GTA V. It's two different things. I mean, yeah. Apples and oranges again. This is the <laughs> Chemical Gaming episode 101, the what? apples and oranges episode. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is fried. That's it. That's the news of the week. <laughs> no train? All right, community corner. Because of episode 100, we didn't pose a question last week, but for next week we do have a new question. And if you think hard, you'll know what it is. And that is, what do you think of Infinity War since it drops in two days when we release this? Yep. This show. Yep. Next week. So tell us your thoughts on Infinity War. Got my tickets today. I got mine today. I had to repurchase them because I'm going out of town this weekend. And I had to cancel and then repurchase for just myself. But I managed to get one. So right. I'm going to yeah, go in. That... Sorry, sorry, go ahead, Corey. Thursday at 10.50. Nice, nice. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going Friday at 3. Okay, it's Saturday night for nice. me, so I'll be the last one. And then I'm not going to be on next Thursday episode, at 7. So, yeah, I'm big lame The I'm going to go ahead and say, man, it was super disappointing. I can't believe that <laughs> none of the Avengers died and they just kicked Thanos' uh-huh. ass. It was the same story as Age of Ultron. Totally disappointed. <laughs> Same, yeah, that's my answer exact. to this week's question of the week. <laughs> Same exact thing. <laughs> all right, so uh, this is a point of the week where we talk about uh, all the people that supported us. We've got two weeks worth of supporters, another huge number. What are we up to? 1450-something. Yeah, really, really oh, appreciate man. everybody who subscribed to us. Uh, a all lot right. of those people have YouTube channels as well, so this is a spot where we shout everybody out. Uh, if you're listening to the show, come over to youtube.com slash GCANDC. Go down in the description of the video, and there will be all the links in the description for all these channels here. Uh, if you're one of the people that does these channels, you're looking for more active YouTubers right now, this is a great spot to look. Just go click everybody down, sub everybody up, say hello to everybody, get in the comments, do all the stuff that we do every week, right? So this week, we got a big list. Kick it off with Blissful Kitty, Red Event Games, Raging Red Onion, I think <laughs> Zeon KH352. I think KH oh, yeah. stands for Kingdom Hearts, if you go to that guy's uh, channel there. Uh, Pack DJ24, the Max Power. That's a mouthful. Oh, and then uh, Ray Hall, uh, Ke- Ke- Kivo Killa Gamer, and uh, Val Kyrie. Yeah. I got uh, Chaos Machine, GR, Hectic Squad, Ussie, Madman2170, <laughs> Shea Media, Moz Gaming UK, Chase the Mad Gamer, <laughs> TSG14, the sports guy, Game Fam, Lily Waters, and Will Rock Network. Yeah, I got I, Hesse, and McDiddle Mike. Oh, Teddy Burr. <laughs> that, that's Anna like Sim. Teddy Burr. I know, Teddy Burr. <laughs> Teddy Burr. Teddy Burr. It's like Tim Burr. Uh, pass Cutron Quad? Cod. Pass Cutron. Pass Cutron. I can't read tonight because <laughs> I was watching very small text and got a war. You can uh, turn it up, you know. Polar Plays, I know. Zalari. <laughs> And she called 19. <laughs> and then our non-nerd subscribers, we have Riley and Daddy Save the World, yeah. Broadcast Brad TV, LGBTQ Community for Vlogs, and Jimmy Fungus to Meme Channel. And uh, Jeff missed Havana Sims. I did not. Jeff Sims. <laughs> you totally did. I, Rewind did I? Rewind Roll the tape. You got so excited about Teddy Burr. So, teddy bear. I think and he I said do, teddy bear and then was laughing through Havana Sims and then went did. back to teddy bear. Yeah, because someone I just distracted. feel like you didn't give Havana Sims the, the uh, well, respect that she deserves. Havana so, Sims. We love you, Havana Sims. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> right. And I want to give a special shout out to, uh, she said she was 18, and Dwight level, Dynamite. Level 18. Level 18. Oh, she said she was level 18. 
I'm sorry, dude. I was playing God of War. And I'm sorry she said she was level 18. All the way from Ireland joined us on the stream tonight, along with our awesome supporter, Cat Memo. Nice. Again. Nice, nice. You'll have to put them in the in the doc here so I can put them in the description <laughs> yeah. as well. In the uh, So every week... We do a contest. Oh, the, the one other thing before I get in the name of the week is uh, I also noticed this week got a lot of subscribers who have YouTube accounts but aren't doing channels, aren't there, aren't putting out content. And a lot of them, like usually I'll see like one or two of those intermixed yeah. with all the YouTubers. Um, yeah. This week there was a lot of people. So uh, anybody who subscribed this week, we really appreciate the, the subscription. Hope you like the content, all that stuff. So uh, every week we do a contest, name of the week for all these people, uh, based nothing on nothing but the name i think for me i really like val Kyrie. That, that the pun on, on i assume her name is Kyrie. Sure. uh but you got to give it to mcdiddle yeah that's yeah. what i pick mcdiddle mike. i was trying yeah mcdiddle mike I was... <laughs> if you cause me to stumble yeah all right huh? mcdiddle mike mcdiddle mike you won the prestigious... oh is that a platinum the prestigious <laughs> comical gaming, uh, all unanimous vote for name of the <laughs> platinum award. Did I say po polar plays? You did. I don't know if you did. He did. Jeff, what is happening? Why polar plays. I'm <laughs> <said it>. tired, <laughs> dude. Too much God of War. All right, and then we want to give thanks to all our new Facebook members, even though it's just one. But uh, a few weeks back, we added Michelle Sullivan. Sully Man, um, Hazel, and Hayden have since then realized that they all came from Shady Gamers. Um, just want to give a shout out to Shady Gamers, Bad these luck. guys. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the new new Facebook group member, Mars Two Thousand. No, Ivan. Ivan well, from Mars Two Thousand RTS channel. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Ivan, <laughs> for joining the group. Wow. You did it. Get you did it. There. The, uh, oh. So we also have a, a big, big announcement. We got two new Patreon supporters this week. So yeah. Steve and Deb, not afraid to say, my in-laws, great, great people. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Two thumbs up. Yep. Everybody yeah. else, patreon.com slash GCANDC for the price sure. of $1 per month. Can Don't really say help it, us out. Really make this a, a much better Make experience. Jeff holler. Don't ah. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Find us on Twitter at GCANDC. And thank you to Fred Thomas for opening music and C Rider for our logo. <laughs> All right, so and, our full. Yeah. What, what? Go ahead. Did I interrupt? No, go ahead. I was, was going to read it because. Ah, hey. Hey. All right, hey. so our uh, full spoilers. We always end the show with a full spoilers topic. This week we're going to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8. So if you're not current on The Walking Dead, then, uh, go ahead and jet out. And I'll also throw in there that we always talk about the comics up through that current spot, right? So if you haven't checked that out, if you're in the middle of Season 8, when you come, come back and watch the show when you're done, and we'll have that conversation. For everybody else, thank you for watching. It's been a great week. Next TV, week? BBC. Next week yeah. will be... Uh, Next oh, yeah, week, next uh, oh the, it won't be next week. That'll be two weeks from now because next week is going to be the Infinity War Spectacular. That's true. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. The, but the next CBBC is going to be what? Episode action 103. Comics, 103. 1,000. Yeah, Action Comics 1,000. All right. So, so if you haven't learned at them all, you got to read all 1,000 issues. Yes. <laughs> Pre-rec. Homework. Do it. Yeah, if you haven't, this is Bendis's. First one, I think. Yes. Um, and it's getting great reviews. I think it's it is. like a nine. <clears throat> yes. And uh, Meta Comics. Oh, really? <laughs> he changed a big element about the origin. I don't know the details of it. Or well, let's read it. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back and talk yeah. about it. Episode sure. one three. All right, everybody. All right. All right. Have a great All week. Right. Peace. Later. Okay, so if you're sticking around. This is the full spoilers conversation about The Walking Dead Season 8, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, like I just said previously, we also talk about the comics through that when we go Walking Dead. Spoilers, yeah. right? Yeah. So, if you so, care. What's yeah. that? If you, if you 
Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Rust is wearing <laughs> off. So, uh, the, you know, just kind of kick it off. We'll, we'll talk briefly kind of about the whole season here since we haven't been doing episode by episode like we have in the past. You talked a lot at the beginning of the show about how you're kind of more into fear than you are into, you know, yeah. current Walking Dead or whatever. Um, yeah. I, I got to say, like, I, I, I like this season more than most of them recently. Like, it, it's kind of funny, like, I, a lot of people that aren't reading the books, I find that everybody's, like, has fatigue on, on Negan as if he's like, right. just another governor. I know. I'm, I'm talking with mom about it, um, and she's, she's like, are they going to kill Negan tonight? And I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> And she's like, yeah, I just feel like it's been two seasons. It's long enough. And I'm like, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> it's probably around to stay. <laughs> right, but it's funny that, you know, people, it, that's the fault of the show, right? Is that right. He, and we talked about it over and over again. He's like one of the greatest villains of all times in the books. And uh, in the show, yeah. he's not that. And so I, I don't blame people for kind of being down on it if that's their only experience, right? Right. Uh, yeah. But knowing the books, I mean, we know he's a huge fan. Right. 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 Yep. Probably, yeah. But at the death of Carl this year, I didn't know what was going to happen. When, right, when Rick slashed his fucking throat, I was like, oh, shit, they actually did kill him. Right. Yeah. Bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so let's let's talk about that first, right? Anybody who's watching this for to, yeah. to join this conversation with us, that's the most recent biggest thing, right? What do you, yeah. what, what, how did you think about how that, how it all went down and, you know, different from the books, right? Uh, Clearly Rick still, no cane. Yeah. Clearly, clearly <laughs> different from the books. I mean, like, I guess we'll just to start off the whole thing with Eugene had me convinced that he was on Negan's side, and we—he's not in the books, but I was thought that was something different than the, that the show did. I mean, he really and when those guns backfired, I—I I honestly didn't even realize that was him right away. I thought somebody else was shooting their guns or something, and then I, then I realized he actually was still on their side. So that that kind of caught me by surprise, and then. Uh, then the Rick Negan showdown, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of it, to be honest. It, yeah. I mean, it was all right, but it was just, I felt like it was a cheap move, like, Rick had him beat, and then Negan was about to kill him, and Rick was like, wait, like, Carl. what about Carl? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> then, then Negan's like, oh yeah, Carl. And then, like, like, it seems like he almost has a change of heart because of Carl, and, like, you know, we all know that Negan loved Carl, and then Rick's like, Tuh! like, and I was like, oh, that's kind of a cheap move, like, and, and, like, to use Carl, like, in that way, just kind of, I kind of felt like bullshit to me, like, I, agree. I don't know if that's how Carl wanted his way of them to get along was to <laughs> use him to pause Negan so he could slit his throat. Like, <laughs> so, That's probably not what he wrote in his letter to his uh, dad. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, oh shit, they actually killed him. And then and then he walks away, bring him back. And I mean, cut like straight through, like that's a death blow. Right. And so that was a cheap move on the showrunners or whoever did that, like just to have everybody go like, oh, he killed him. Like, I just thought that was kind of stupid too. But, um, yeah, but overall, Yeah, screaming at the same time. Like if, if she's that pissed off about it, she should have just went up and shot him. She had yeah. a machine gun in her hands at that point and Rick had a piece right. of glass, right? Like go kill yeah. Negan. Nobody, nobody in that crowd is going to be like, mad at you yeah <laughs> at that point right right so that whole moment i was kind of iffy about I agree. I, i'm not mad that he kept negan alive i mean negan's a big part of the books and and i'd like to see more of negan he's grown on me in the show like we we've talked about it he's not, clearly not as good as he is in the comics at, at all but but i like him in the show now and I, so i don't mind that he's sticking around and that rick let him live i just thought the way that it happened was kind of dumb yep. so <clears throat> but, and then and then after that, the whole Maggie, Jesus, Daryl. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, <sighs> yep. It's like even the, the conversation that they had there, I, I could have been down with because, uh, and, and I'm okay with the storyline of her being pissed at Rick about that and everything. Um, it's just the way that they filmed it where they tried to make her like 
Oh Later. no, she's a villain now. You yeah, know what I mean? like, it was so bad. Like, yeah, it was... right, right. And and then and especially if you're gonna portray it that way, then uh, Jesus wouldn't be down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And real. You, I I could see her and Daryl having that conversation. But, yeah. Uh, but not Jesus. He's not in there. So yeah, that was kind of right. weird too. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. But but overall, I mean, there there were like I I felt like kind of leading up to it it's it's been kind of a fun ride i felt like yeah. the 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 episode uh, action and, and yeah and, yeah the one where the the flaming lucille flaming zombie battle was great yeah you know yeah what I mean? like okay. awesome, yeah. and on. uh what's his name that um on negan's side that was um that he killed um oh uh <laughs> I forget his name too. Not Dwight, but, but the other guy. Yeah. The, but his stuff was cool. Him. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It was an interesting story storyline. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, definitely. And Jada too. I thought all her stuff yeah. was great. The the meat grinder scene was awesome. Yeah. And then you know, kind of what she's been through since then. Uh, kind of weird that they ended it with her being like, it, it, as soon as Morgan said, "Hey." they'd like you to come to the hilltop or wherever. And she's like, Oh, okay. I'll go grab my bag. Yeah, like was... Rick really fucked her over the last yeah. time they saw each other. You know, I, I kind of expected her to be, to turn into, you know, a bigger, badder villain yeah, or whatnot. Yeah, we talked about her possibly like being beta, even right? see, Yeah, being beta. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously that's not happening. So yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. But... So we'll, we'll see where that all goes. And then, uh, yeah. So speaking of beta, do you think like, do we just go straight to whispers here? Is that is that the horror yeah. that they're looking at? Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that, but very well could be. Right. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, so yeah, we kind of skipped over it quick. But Rick's leg isn't broken. Correct. He's so, got a hand too. Yeah, and he has a hand. So <laughs> and he's a cold-blooded murderer. Yeah, I felt like they kind of fixed that. Like that was, they showed him pretty much fully losing his mind and and becoming a cold blooded murderer. And then Carl's, you know, Carl didn't die in the books, and Carl's, and then he read Carl's letter as dying that he wrote while dying, and that brought Rick back. Like yeah, and the Morgan know. Rick conversation afterwards was really good too. Yeah. So. Yeah, the kind of even it's funny like Morgan on his side of it is like, look, dude, I'm fucking crazy, and I know that that shit was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's funny. It, there's even at the very beginning of the season, there was something where Rick did the same deal, where him and Daryl were hiding from somebody, and he did the same. Like, I'll give you my word, if you yeah, on your arms and come out, yeah. and then Daryl just ran up and popped him, sort yeah. of thing, you know. And Rick yeah. didn't say anything. He turned around at that point, you know. Right. So. so. So yeah, but interesting, you know, just bear saying if if people are watching this that don't haven't watched us talk about the walking dead a million times at this point is that you know rick is clearly not in in the books he's a dead on you would stand behind him like i would trust like my family to be in his crew of people because he's such a straight up cool individual right right and in the show he just you know when the governor stuff was going on he turned into an insane person that i wouldn't trust with my life ever you know and then uh and then now with all this stuff going on i mean it it does kind of show they called this the all-out war right so it did kind of make some comments about war and what that does to people yeah but again like that one time when he went off and murdered all the saviors that were trying to help him and then he came back and that one savior who asked him not to murder him kind of looked at him and he just gave him a side eye and kept going like yeah you know what i mean there's people who live around him now who know that he's not whatever a good person and right (laughs) even in particular it seems like michonne still is kind of untouchable and her kind of uh i don't know humanity or whatever you want to call it and so for for her to still be with him after all that you know right Kind of unbelievable to some extent, right? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Rick and Michonne. <clears throat> no? Yeah. Not really. I, I love him and Andrea, but I don't, I don't know. I I just thought, I think Michonne's like, cooler as just like the badass alone like samurai chick, you know? Yeah. I, I didn't think she needed to get, they didn't need to get together. I just, 
don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I just thought it was another one of those things that's different than the books, and I, yeah. I enjoy anything that's like that because it, whatever. Yeah, I don't hate it. it. <sighs> yeah, so the you know maybe she'll get addicted to that Infinity War money and uh, be be gone off the show soon anyways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll see. She'll beg yeah. them to kill her next so she can make more uh, Marvel movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's the one thing, man. You know, we kind of joked about that. Like, it's cool to see her being successful in that role. You know, she's in she's in the poster for Infinity War. You know, you would kind of think that the background Black Panther people would be a little bit more background, but, man, the, the meteoric success of Black Panther has right. changed everything, right? Yeah. I mean... She's going to be around for a while. I bet you that that Black Panther crew, his little sister, and the yeah. and, uh, and the the guy in blue, like uh, you know, they're going to be rocking Marvel movies for a while. Yeah, <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. All right, cool. What else? Anything else? We pretty much cover the highlights here. Yeah, I think so. Carl's dead. Negan's Carl's still not dead. as good as he is in the comics. Yeah. Let's uh, bring it. Bring on the whispers. Yeah. We'll see you. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. What is this? Comically Gaming 101. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate you coming by. And uh, get ready for uh, Infinity War. Let's do that next week. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, have a good All week. Right. All right. Yeah. Later. You too. See ya. To Ivana Humpalot. <laughs> So this, this, okay, so, um, <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> I think episode one or screwed us up our flow. Starting now? Yeah, go for it. And we'd also like to thank all our new Facebook group members. Um, well, the one of them. Check us out there. The one <laughs> Facebook group. Um. Uh, okay. Should I, are you looking at the doc? Should I just read that whole thing? Yeah. Yeah.